Hey guys, back to the quick little tour overview of this 2004 Ford Freestar. I'm pretty sure this is the SEL um, I just got here, so I mean, I haven't had time to look at this thing, but um, this is the SEL with the 4.2 liter V6 with advanced track. So um, this is the mid level, there was a limited. Um, this is the first year for the Freestar, replaced the Dyne Windstar. Um, I think Ford thought if they could rename it, it would be better, but Ford was just kind of existing in the van market. They were never really too, too popular. But um, I've always liked the Freestar, and my grandpa's, if you've been on the channel for a while, my grandpa's had one since, like, he's had it since new, though, so. Um, anyways, coming up here, you do have halogen headlights as well as your cornering lights. They're not fog lights, just cornering lights. So when you have your turn signals on, they turn on. You're really nice polished um, trim going along here as well as your chrome grill. Um, let me shut my door, that's really annoying. But um, as you can see, you have pretty, I mean, nice looking for the time, 16 inch alley wheels there riding on Michelin. Um, fully touring tires, you have nice mirror caps, turning on the mirror, as well as your um, heel sentry for the day. You have your roof racks, um, this has been a family hauler as you can tell. And if you're in the north, a lot of wind stars really go bad right here. If you don't take care of them, but if you do take care of them, take care of them, it's very preventable. But um, obviously this one was a family car, so it wasn't. Um, coming over here to the door panel, it is all hard touch. As well as you have a nice vinyl padding right here, though. Some nice carpeting and then storage and such. Over here, you do have a powered um, bottom and then a, a manual backrest. But you have really nice leather. Very, very easy step in height as well. And straight in the door. Immediately, this was driven as a high school, probably a student drove this, but um, as you can see, this is very, very nice. I mean, it appears the steering wheel is leather wrapped. It's a very nice, small, sporty feeling wheel, so I mean, I really like that. Over here, you do have automatic headlights. As you see, you don't pull off fog lights because there is none. It's just automatic. Nice fake wood trim. Dash is soft touch, surprisingly, so um, yeah. You have a little bit of storage up here, and I really do have a soft spot for these vans because, I mean, I kind of not necessarily grew up in one, but I've been around them since I was little, so. Down here is all your typical Ford-based stuff. Back in the day, you have Tri-Zone Automatic Climate Control, or um, Manual Climate Control, I'm sorry. Um, single fan speed for the rear, front, and then all your, that is automatic so it doesn't clunk in the dash. Your vent controls back here. Hazards, trash control, and your parking sensors on and off. There's your really nice gators with the chrome rings around them. This has 123,000 miles on it, so... It's about average, and the 4.2 liter is pretty good. It's just the transmissions on these really went out, but um, most of them were replaced because they were recalled. But down here's your your brake, which probably do doesn't even work. Here's your strip computer up here, your power doors, and the turn them off and such. Um, you have an automatic mirror. This one has remote start, aftermarket. Down here, here's all your manuals. Um, I would imagine this is a one owner. I I really think this is a one owner for some reason. I like looking into these old vans to see if they have like all the original stuff, but um, I'll just let you guys pause it if you wish. I know I'm going to pause it when I'm watching this, but it's just really cold out, so I mean, sorry for the unstable camera and such, but um, I am trying this monopod, so. But yeah, let's have a bunch of records in there and such. I'm just throw it all back in there. But, um, I honestly would drive one of these, and they're not that bad looking. I honestly don't think they're that bad looking. But, um, yeah. So, up here, you're really comfortable. You have storage. Everything you could ever ask for from a minivan. But, um, headliner is very plush. You have a light of mani bear, um, nam tan right there, and your earbags in the side. But, um, let's just step on out of this. I never know how these Ford vans work. Alrighty. There we go. The doors were locked, that's just all. Go back here. Fold this up. <clears throat> Do you get a leather captain's chair? And uh, you have a cup holder right here. It's pretty clean, so it's taken care of. You have your airbags in the seat as well. And this was still on the original seat, so I don't think this was used very heavily. Um, you have dual mat pockets, your um, button for to close your door. Um, yeah. And the nicer models, you did have real headrests, unlike the one my grandpa has. His SE just has integrated headrests. You have your controls a little too far back here, I always thought, but they're there. You have vents up in the roof. One back to the third row. This does kind of fold in like a stow-and-go. 
and you do have all right um leg room it's a van i mean it's not too much but um yeah everything's all plastic and such cup holders um your vents do open back there so it's just a basic van i mean honestly this is one of my favorite vans in the time maybe it's just because i'm Ford and i'm biased but um this is much nicer than a caravan you have some nice padding in here it's like hard vinyl though so just nice van i guess to the trunk it is manual this one was sold in ohio and back here the struts are good and to fold this down i honestly don't know i had to look at it for a minute and just do one like this two and then it just folds right down to the floor really flat storage in there but yeah little handle up here let's walk back around this way Anyways guys, thanks for watching, I guess we'll talk to y'all later.